Hi everybody. Welcome to Petra's Happy Place. Today is installment three of this decluttering of my stuff. Okay. Um, just a, a couple of things. Um, I hope that you um, are enjoying these. This is going to be the last one. I'm, I'm determined. Okay. I'm going to just power through and do the rest of it. I still have a whole bunch over here to go through. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you are enjoying this. And if you're learning anything from these uh, videos about your own style, uh, about what you find helpful, please leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear about them. So, um, a couple things if you had watched the first and second installment um, I had been kind of like um, hem hawing around uh, what to do with certain things and I will get to those um, as well as some um, other uh, uh, actually I've got I'm going to show you a box right now of stuff um, I have probably a good 15 wait a minute let's see one, two, three, four, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 skeins of wool like. Now, if you're not familiar with wool like, um, it is a Loops and Threads Michaels brand. Um, there's <clears throat> 678 yards. Uh, just know that there's like two or three skeins that I had used part of them, but there, there's still a lot of yardage in here. Um, I have all different kinds of colors. I got gray, purple, rose, white, uh, different kinds of blues, a black, uh, green. Yeah, I have lots of different colors, 20 skeins of wool-like. Um, it is a 100% acrylic, um, number one, super fine, super fine. <laughs> yarn and um, I I know that there are a lot of you that would love to have something like this if you like working with number one weight yarns there is enough to make a big project here um, if you wanted to do doilies if you wanted to do wearables again whatever you want I've got a box of them um, and I would like um, I would like to get, uh, let's say, 15. Okay, I'd like to, I'd like to get 15 dollars for that wool-like yarn. Okay, so um, if you're interested um, in wool-like yarn and you want to purchase this for 15 dollars, um, then in the comment section below, I'd like for you to write wool-like. And I'll have your name and everything. And then in a week after this airs, um, I will go to the random YouTube comment picker. And I will put, put, put in the, the um, uh, to filter all the comments that say wool like. And um, if that's in the comment section, whoever's uh, name I pull up. I will know that you're interested in that, and then I will reach out to you, and we'll see about getting this yarn to you, okay? So, wool like again, $15, and um, yeah, so now that that's taken care of, let me put it out of the way, and we can get on to business, okay, of decluttering and sorting through. All right, so I have a bin full of things to frog. Um... There's blankets, hats, miscellaneous projects. I've got a basket of stuff to finish. I have to just, they're just ends to tie in or ends to sew in or just seems to do things very quickly. I have yarn that needs to be caked up. I have a basket here of stuff that just needs, um, <clears throat> has, has all my wool bands, extras, uh, like, um, uh, hooks and needles and all that scissors is in a basket right here. Um, I put, I went ahead and let me see here. 
I brought my one of my whip carts over and this has all of my whips in it the two that I picked out or actually there's three projects here one two three projects those are the only whips that I've salvaged from everything that I've, I've had so <clears throat> we're gonna go through the rest of this and see what we what damage we can do now okay mm. I had this coffee in this mug for two over two hours and it's still warm very warm that's the perfect temperature to drink coffee <clears throat> okay so over here I had started um, a project this was something that I had asked you about a long time ago and um, what you wanted me to make and um, I don't even know what I've done with the pattern I it's not here anymore but I have set aside I had set aside <clears throat> this sprightly yarn and some of this knit crate no I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, excuse me Barocco vintage uh, yarn to do something and I started on it and um, I'm just I have no idea what I was gonna make now and to tell you the truth I've kind of lost interest in whatever it was that I wanted to do with this so this is a definite frog okay so I'm going to put this uh, I know that here's the cake that I had started using of the Barocco, Barocco, and then uh, this is the Sprightly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all together here in this frog bin, and the there's two hanks of yarn I'm going to put away. All right, empty bin. Like looking at that. Like looking at that. Okay, so here is, and I showed this in a previous video, <clears throat> this pretty um, um, cable project. It's, it's Bonnie Barker uh, from uh, Bonnie Bay Crochet. She had a beautiful a cabled um, throw. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to put this in my on my whip cart but it's going to be one of these projects that is going to take me forever i do want I, I think i really do want to finish it because it's such a beautiful design and um once i finish it if i don't use it myself it's something that i could either donate because it is acrylic i can either donate it or i can sell it okay so i'm going to put that on my whip caddy okay so also this is something that i was not sure what to do with it's just a shrug basically a sleeve continuous sleeve and it's more like a half sleeve you know check to the elbow and it's a pattern that i just i loved working i loved working this whole thing and um it just brings me so much joy to look at it and it's so squishy this this yarn is um let me think it's it's Ella Ray yarn and I just I it is the most beautiful yarn to work with um, and I think <laughs> I had kind of decided to keep it but now I'm rethinking this uh, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it. Um, and uh, I'll tell you why. Because I love the pattern. I love the yarn. I'm not in love with the colors. Um, and I want to see if there's any way, because I designed this. And so maybe here in the near future or even the distant future, I don't know. I can figure out how to um, alter it just a little bit, maybe make the sleeves longer, maybe um, do something different in this middle section to make it a little bit bigger. 
because it's only, you know, it, it's just going to cover your shoulders and your upper back. Um, um, and yeah, and what is it, what's it going to look like with different kinds of yarn? Um, I love this. I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. Um, and I don't have a spot. I'm going to just keep it over here somewhere. Um, because I'm, I want to just, um, the, the design aspect of my brain that that's one of my babies, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay. So this is another project I had started. I love this yarn. This is Kristen Omdahl's yarn, Be So Fine uh, Caribbean Turquoise. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, Kristen Omdahl had a line of yarn and you can no longer get it. But um, I was just playing around with it and I love the feel of it. I love this. Um, I love this. But I don't know what I was working with it. So just real quick, I'm going to go ahead and frog it and put this back up on my shelf because um, I've got four cakes of this, four of it. So it will make a nice project. Each cake has 650 yards. So there's a lot of it here. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and uh, it's so soft. It's 100% bamboo. Um, again, I, I do apologize, but you're not able to get this anymore. Um, she does not sell her yarn anymore. Um, but it took just a second here to, to frog it. And it goes on my shelf. Okay. Oh, it's not staying, but okay. Um, there's the little card that tells me what kind of yarn it is. And there's a hook. I'm going to put in here and another one down. Okay. All right. See how quickly this is going. Yay. Okay. So <laughs> let's do this. Let's talk about this. <laughs> what is this? What is this people? <laughs> oh my gosh. For those of you that don't know, this is my first attempt at a an amigurumi and it was a complete fail i mean this is a complete fail so i'm gonna put it in my frog basket i'm gonna just throw well not the button but i'll throw this little piece of it's it's a piece of nothing nothing and whatever's inside the stuffing i'm just gonna throw away i don't make amigurumi so i don't need the stuffing but i can salvage this this uh purple yarn and i'm pretty sure it is a paint box um in the in a light purple so i'm just gonna frog it and i can always use it for another project okay Whew, that feels good all right so what have i got here i've got this yarn this is one i just uh, i want to say it's 100 silk but i'm not sure um, I picked this up at House of Yarn in Nashville, and um, I was doing a simple stitch uh, Tunisian, okay, and I was combining these two colors, all right? Um, I, I love it. I loved working with it. It's a very beautiful yarn. Um, I was using a hook bigger than um, than the recommended size, obviously, because this yarn is, I mean, it's thinner than a number one weight. I mean, it's very, very thin. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very thin. It's like a thread weight. And I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, <clears throat> I don't want to do any more on it. I'm just tired of working on it. So I'm going to put this together in this bag because it's not long enough to be a true scarf and it's, it, it's not warm enough to be a, like uh, a winter scarf. It's more like a summer scarf and I just don't like the way it's turning out. So I'm going to frog it. Did I say that word, that four-letter word? I did. I did. All right. So here is a hat. 
and it looks like I just had to sew in ends but let's see here it's too small <laughs> way too small it's a wool yarn it is a um, knit crate yarn I remember and I'm frogging that frogging it okay so here we have this I believe is the blessings shawl by Ursula from OM Granny Square um, and it was such a joy to work with I love using the yarn um, what yarn did I use uh, let's see here I used oh I think I used the um, yarn be sweet divinity that's what I used yarn be sweet divinity and um, I have more of it and I should have enough to make something I know I'm not gonna wear this um, I, I am discovering in my, I love making shawls, but I don't wear them. And that's just a shame. It's just a shame. So let's see here. It's going to be easy enough to frog. Yeah, I'm going to frog it. Ribbit, ribbit. Okay. <clears throat> what is this here? Here's a bag of. Oh, 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 oh. This. I'm not talking this. Okay. So this has my project in it. This is the um, project but that Selena Baca was working on, and I was making those long rectangles, right, for a, a blanket. The, the rectangles are done. I just need to find my pattern and figure out how to join them or, you know, how, yeah, how to join them um, and then do the border around it. So that is that project. I don't even know, remember what I've done with the um, leftover yarn for this. I'll have to look for it, but this is definitely not good. This is a whip. So let's put it on my whip cart, my whip caddy, whatever you want to call it. Sorry about all that crinkling sound. That's the bag. Okay. So here is... My mom had started making these booties. And they are knitted. And I don't knit. And those are way too big for my mom. Um, so <clears throat> this is just a, a skein of... I think this is the Isaac Mizrahi yarn <clears throat> that she had. And a... <clears throat> I don't, I don't like them. I don't. Um, in fact, I'm thinking they might make a really cute, you know, how I did this, this, um, this tote. Maybe I could do just like a stripe or something at the bottom in this green. That might be pretty. So I'm going to frog this. Okay. And then that goes there. Now, this is just some gray yarn that she had started, again, knitting these little booties. Um, and they're too small for me. And she's already got a pair of booties. And this is just like an acrylic red heart yarn. I'm going to frog this. Wow, I'm feeling good about this frogging business. Yeah, this is the um, premier yarns isaac mizrahi craft yarn and this was a clearance long time ago um i don't even remember i think it was from michael's but um i had bought it for my mom a long long time ago so i'm gonna put that with those booties though because since i'm frogging it i'll have all of that yarn together okay what else okay guys <clears throat> this is the biggest this was one of these things that I had every good intention and I totally feel guilty I will say that I feel this is my biggest guilt project and I hate that I feel guilty about it but I do because I promised this 
years ago and I did not keep my promise. And um, I just want to say now I am so, so sorry to all my, all my viewers and subscribers that came to my channel to learn this. And, and I just, I just let the ball drop and one thing after another, it, it just never happened. This is the pieces I was going to make a sweater. Okay. I was going to make a cardigan and I have this much of it done. And, um, I looks like I started the sleeve here. I would have to start the sleeve here. And um, I didn't realize I had that much of it done because once I finish the sleeve here, um, you know, put out the sleeve, I would have to make this other sleeve and then sew up the sides right here or here let me show you on this side here better see and then i would sew the side together all the way up and and around the sleeve this one long seam and then of course i have to do the edging and everything and Guys, I, I just, I feel so badly not finishing this. It has been sitting, um, not being completed. I'm using the Stylecraft Special DK in the colorway Pale Rose, um, Gray, and White. I don't remember what hook size I used. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I like I said, I didn't realize I had this much of it done. So to frog it now, and, and because I, I doubled up the yarn, um, it would be a bear, a bear to frog because you really can't put it into its separate cakes anymore. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what to do with this, but it's not gonna stay where it was. It's either gonna be worked on or I'm frogging it. That's, that's just, there's nothing, no other way around that. So, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to let it sit here and brew just a few minutes. Just just a few minutes. All right. This is a project I have been working on. Um thought yeah, I do have another one of these. Um I have a Trendsetter Yarns uh Transitions Tweeds. And this is the colorway I guess it's just 49T. And I also have Kristen Omdahl's yarn, and this is called Peacock something or other. No, Dragonfly Dreams. And it looks like this. Okay. So I, I found the pattern for um, a shawl by Expression Fiber Arts. Expression Fiber Arts. And um, I was making a wrap. Okay. But it started with the widest point and it works its way to the point. But this thing is gigantuan, gigantous. It's, it's huge. I mean, okay, at the widest point, okay, let me put the, uh, put those tips together so I can tell you. All right. So, this is probably eight and a half feet long, wide, or however you want to call it. And I've gotten this much done 
but obviously it needs a whole lot more done to get to the middle, to the point. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to go until I run out of yarn. Oop. Um, yeah, until I run out of yarn. Hold on. Sorry about that. I spilled my coffee. <gasps> what a waste. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to, I probably just do, uh, let's see here. You can see I've started this little section. So I might just do, and because it's a number one fine yarn, um, I think I'll do another section of this of this Dragonfly Dreams and then do one last section of this blue because you can see it's it's getting to the darkest part and I think that'll look kind of neat um, and then finish up with another Dragonfly dream. so it will only have <clears throat> one two three four five six seven parts Anyway, that's what I'm thinking, and it just is going to be as wide as it is. I mean, it'll be all said and done. I don't even know if I have enough. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I ordered more of my blocking mats, but um, it's probably going to be another, let's see here, one, two, three. It'll probably be a good two foot wide. And then I'm just going to use it as a wrap. And because it's number one, look how tiny it gets. So you could use it as a scarf if you wanted to, you know, like one of those fashionista kind of things like this. You know, where they have it around their neck really high here and just let it drape down. And it'll go to your knees. It's, it's long. So, yeah, I think that'll be kind of cool. Um, and I'm not going to worry about the timing of it. It doesn't have to be done anytime soon. Oh, hold on. So I'm going to put that in here. And that is another whip. Ugh. Okay. So, yeah, let's see here. What else? Okay, guys, this is... Oh, I think I messed up my camera. Hold on. Okay. So this has been sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting. And um, it's it's going to be unsat. <laughs> it's going to be unsat. Because I'm tired of it going to waste. I love the yarn and it's just a waste. And it's this wrap. Remember this, this project that I was making with this yarn. This little vest type thing that you could wear different ways okay so it's in here it's been living in this little bag um i'm going to frog it okay <gasps> take a deep breath i'm gonna frog it uh, i i just i'm not gonna deal with it anymore i was using my high high hook with it I put my high high hook back in here and that goes there. That's a pattern. And I'm just going to, well, I'll leave it in that little bag. Okay. Oh, guys, we are getting down to the final here. Um, okay. What to do with this yarn? Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this. And um, I'm going to... Um, do some looking around I might be able to find the size of the hook that I was using and I'll just go ahead and finish this and once it's done I'll determine what I want to do with the sweater I'm not going to do any more tutorials I'll just figure out what I want to do with it and be done okay done all right anybody want a purple scarf here we have a purple scarf. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is wool. Um, 
it's it's just a scarf it's not it's not anything really long let me see here so you can see how long it is um, it's big enough where you can wrap but again it would be just for winter it's not going to be a summer scarf it'd be a winter scarf if you're interested write um, purple scarf let me show you the pattern on it I don't remember if I if I went by a pattern or if I just made it up as I went along um, so just write purple scarf okay and there you go Let's see where am I putting that stuff I can't remember I'll put it right there okay so All right, what is this? Oh, this was yarn that I was using to make a little bag, and I'm not liking it. I'm gonna frog that. That's been there for years, years, people, years. Okay, I have these, they're supposed to be these little wristers, but they're too heavy. I used, um, um, some of the thick lion brand but they're acrylic and i don't like them i'm frogging them okay um yarn okay here's more yarn well is it attached okay so here, in this box here, I have some things that um, I don't think I want, okay? I made, this This is made with comfy cotton, and it has, ta it has like fringe on it, and it is so toasty. Um, I, ha I always work for work around my, around my office but um i don't i don't use it anymore um so it can be yours for ten dollars okay so i'm gonna let's put this um we'll do we'll call this one um shawl okay shawl so if you want the shawl it's ten dollars okay what what did I do with it again oh there okay here's another thing I'm not going to keep and um, it's it's a, a pretty pattern you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna frog it it's using two different colors of wool yarn, but I'm looking at it now. It's not really made well. These two colors came together in a knit crate, but um, they said they would go together, but I don't think they go together. I'm frogging it. Okay, a hat. Oh, I don't like the seam that I see here. I'm frogging that. Okay. That is a gift. That doesn't mean anything. Okay, here is just a <clears throat> asymmetrical um, asymmetrical scarf. Let me see where a shawl. I like it I like the colors um, let me see let me try it this way there we go and this uh, what yarn was this I'm gonna think while I'm you guys recognize what kind of yarn it is I know it's a color changing oh I know what it is it's um, yarn be um, yarn be uh, cotton uh, sugar uh, 
cotton cake. Oh, what's it called? It's the yarn bee cotton cake, sugar wheel cotton, sugar wheel cotton. So that's cute. Um, however, however, I don't like asymmetrical shawls. I just can't seem to get them to work. And I even watched a whole video. I'm frogging this. Um, I watched an entire video um, on Bonnie, Bonnie Bay Crochet, Bonnie Barker, and it showed um, different ways you could wear asymmetrical scarves. I just, I'm not a fan. And I know it takes a special person to like those. I guess my, my reasoning is, is that I move around too much and it, Every time I move, it it readjusts the way I have it on me, and and I'm constantly fiddling with it. And so when I'm working at work, if I have to fiddle with it so much, it's it's just I take it off. Okay, we got a hat, a beanie. That's a donate. That's it is a donate. Okay. Um, we have a little Christmassy, wintry, um, like a little cowl, like a handkerchief. Oh, that looks cute. That looks really cute. Okay, this one, I'm going to let go for $5. $5, and we're, that one's going to be called um, Blue... Christmas okay blue Christmas so if you're interested in that let me know and it's going to be five dollars okay again how I want to work that is in a week from the time this comes out I will um, put in the search bar um, you see, in, in the uh, YouTube comment picker blue Christmas and whatever whoever's made a comment saying that they want the blue Christmas um, and it's just because it has this pretty fur on it. Um, then I, wh whatever name is drawn, then that one, I will reach out to that person for Blue Christmas. Okay. All right. So, yeah, and we'll talk about payment and stuff then. I think I need to adjust here again. My hair is a little bit messed up. Okay, got another hat, two, three. Three hats to donate. I started making blue hats to donate and I never did donate them. Okay, and here I have a hat and cowl. Okay. Let's see here. How does this go? Oh, I see. Eeks. Oh, here it is. Okay, let me put this on so you see. Hold on. All right, it's got three buttons. Oh, hair, lots of hair. And this is made out of a, a wool blend, okay? And then a hat to go with it. All right. How cute, yeah? So, very warm, very warm wool blend. I don't know if it, it might be 100% wool. I can't remember. So, all right, here's another set. And let's do hat and cowl, hat and cowl. Well, actually, no, because of the and. Uh, let's do... Um, Set. We'll do this, the word set, and I'm going to ask $10 for it, okay? So set is $10. Okay, all this other stuff in here is stuff that I need to get rid of. So, and this stuff here, 
Oh, goodness. Okay. Let me go ahead and show you. I bought some yarn. Okay. Um, and all this time, you wouldn't think that I would buy yarn. Oh, I got one more thing to show you. I, I, I'm going to, it's still going to be a whip. Got to get some more coffee. It's still going to be a whip, and that's my temperature blanket. I have done nothing on it in over a month, um, but I'm not going to rip it out. I mean, I'm still going to work on it until whenever, but it's still going to be a whip, okay? Um, so I bought some yarn, and let me explain why I bought these particular things. So my mom, I made her a blanket. It's called Karen's garden karen spring garden or something like that and it has purples and well, i'll show you here the colors and she loved it and she uses it all the time at the nursing home but she was asking for a pillow to go with it and so i told her i would make a pillow but then i realized i don't have any more of that yarn so i had to get some more yarn and this is the yarn i got it from hobby lobby it's i love this yarn and I got, um, this is Sugar Plum Stripe, and this is Light Sage, Amethyst, and Stonewash. Whoop. But these are the colors of the blanket, and those are the colors that are going to go with that. Isn't it pretty? So, yeah, I got two of this one. I don't know how big of a pillow I'm going to make, but um, I wanted to make sure I had enough so that if I had like a pillow form or something that, you know, it could be a good size pillow. And then I also bought, um, because that purse turned out so cute, right? And I thought, okay, I gotta make another one. So um, I bought some more yarn. Now um, she recommended using um, the Woolies Thick and Quick, and I, I they have that at Walmart, so I can pick that up anytime. That I had one more of these. This, this is the same color of that Woolies. So, and this colorway is a carousel. So I can I can get a couple more skeins of the off-white, and then I could make another one of those. Then also I picked up. Now this is acrylic, so I don't know how well it's going to hold up um, in a purse or a tote. Um, but I picked up. Um, these colors and this is um, hometown in Aspen Tweed and Hoboken honey so I have enough to make another bag maybe two depending on how big of a bag because you can tailor make the size of that tote so yeah, I got three of the light color and two of that Hoboken honey. And so, yeah, I might, I, I thought using this for the bottom of the bag would be nice, you know. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about making a couple of those bags. And I really like making the hats. Um, so, and those are, those are like quick projects that I can work on and um have done you know like in between working on longer larger more time intensive projects now i got one thing here that <clears throat> um this was my i was calling it sadie's kisses because my my sweet friend sadie made this yarn for me okay this is her yarn this is and it it's wool but it's not like a stiff wool it feels so so nice i love it and here is the little thing she got with it it's called 
Sadie Spincraft Fiber Artist. And on the back, she wrote Mystery Fiber because she couldn't remember where she got it from. Natural Fawn. It's a DK Sport. Um, 373 yards hand spun chain plied. And let me see if I can hold it up. You can see that see it. Well, it's still buzzy. Sorry, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to my new phone. So, okay. Anyway, I was using this along with the paint box acrylic. Well, I have since realized you can't mix wool and acrylic in the same project because they're not going to wear like the same. So, guess what? I'm frogging this. So let's put it all together in the same bag so I know what it is, so it can be frogged. Okay, now, here we go. This, I have had, I am not joking, probably eight years, at least eight years. I made all these squares because they were the colors of my kitchen. I made all these squares. I, I don't even remember how many there are. I don't remember what kind of yarn it was. I'm thinking it was um, Karen Simply Soft. I'm pretty sure it was Karen Simply Soft. I don't know what to do with these. I'm not frogging them. So what I think I'm going to do is count them up. See if I can uh, find yarn. I'll probably have to look for, I don't have any Karen Simply Soft in my stash. Um, but maybe I can find um, a skein of Simply Soft, uh, excuse me, of uh, Stylecraft DK or something that I can put all these together and make something. <laughs> So, I'm putting this in my whip card over here. Okay? So, uh, what's all this here? All of these are just little squares. I don't know. Uh, squares. I have no idea, but all of it is, they're just little piece, pieces and parts. I don't know what they were for. I have no idea. So, here is, this feels like Simply Soft. I don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make another magic cake with all these yarns here. I think it's all going to be like a three or four weight yarn. What is all this? Here's just some yarn. Put it all together. Where are we? Okay, I've got about five more minutes and I'm almost done. I've got more of these squares. These are squares that... um. I had made, I was just going to, you know, every time I had a little bit of yarn left over to just make a little square to put them together, but um, I don't think that's going to happen. So, all right, guys, I am coming to the end here. Uh, this is yarn that is left over that... You know how that happens. I got a cone of yarn here because I had made a couple of, these are actually towels. I made three towels. One, two, three. This one's a smaller one. Um, with out of that cake and I still have enough to put together another couple of washcloths, you know, to match. But this, all it needs done is sewing in the ends. And that, so that's going in that basket. Um, okay. Trash, trash. 
Oh, I don't want to throw away Mr. Wentworth, Captain Wentworth. You guys remember my Captain Wentworth? I've had him for years and years. Mama gave him to me for uh, Christmas, and I named him Captain Wentworth because Captain Wentworth is my favorite Jane Austen character. I love his character. So, but this is not the place for him. Okay, and then um, here I've got just, oh, here's another um, a washcloth, a dishcloth that needs to be put away because it's done already. Um, I have more yarn. I'm almost done with this, guys. Almost done. Okay, and I have a bag in here that has just yarns that I had started. So here is just yarns that I had left over in this bag here. Oops. Put it in the right one. Um, and this is trash. So this bag is empty. Let me just make sure that there's nothing in this uh, zipper compartment in the front. There is. It's a bag. Okay. So that bag is empty. Okay. All right. Now I've got four. Well, uh, here's the other one. Four of these. I was going to make way a long time ago. I was going to make a um a bedspread. And I made there there were these squares that you made. Well, these are the squares. Okay? They were real pretty, and I made four of them. And I realized how time intensive it was, and I said, forget it, I'm not making that anymore. But, um, you know, they're, they've already started yellowing, because, I mean, like I said, it's been like, this is probably like 25 years old. They've already started yellowing. So what I might do is go ahead and run them through the wash, Put the ends in, and well, there. I still you can't put them together with any other cotton because, because this is a number ten weight. This is a ten cotton. Um, you can't really put it together because. Yeah, I hate to do this, but these are going to get thrown away, unless you want them. If you want them. I'll set them aside here, and if you say, you know, um, squares, if you want them, um, I can pull an, a, a name for that, okay? Uh, but I'll put them up there, uh, squares, okay? But if you don't want them, that's all right. That's perfectly fine. Okay, this was going to be a pillow and as you can see I did not do anything to it I have I'm frogging this and making putting that together in a magic ball here's some more of these little squares uh, we're almost there guys we're almost there okay frog um, there now I, the only other thing I have in here other than just scraps of yarn here and there is this and I'm keeping this because this was my baby outfit that I had when I was an infant and here it is isn't it cute but um, I, I love it it's, it was crocheted and you can tell it's handmade um, it was crocheted, and I am going to attempt at some point in the far future to replicate it. Um, but that's not going to be anytime soon. So, there you go. The only other thing I haven't done is um, go through this box of stuff that I want to get rid of to sell. Um, I don't think I'm going to frog any of it. Um, I'm just going to sell it. And so um, I will do a different video with that. Uh, 
but uh, yeah I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching these uh, kind of clean with me um, de-stress sometimes it helps watching other people filter through their things in order to um, actually I am not even bother keeping all this this is just trash Trash, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, um, you know, sometimes it helps maybe with motivation for you. Um, maybe it helps give you ideas of what you want to do with your stuff. Um, but anyway, that's all I've got. I hope you've enjoyed it a little bit and uh, it was great um, seeing you and spending some time with you again today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later. Bye bye.